Hey everybody, what is going on? I hope you guys are all doing well and welcome to another tutorial video. In this video, I'll be explaining to you guys how you can use Zoho CRM uh, and I'll be using this fitsmallbusiness.com article on this matter. Uh, and I do recommend you check it out since I won't be going into as much detail as this article is written in. So I do recommend you check it out even after watching this tutorial to get to know the details a bit better. But this tutorial will provide you with the basic information which you need to start using the Zoho CRM service. Now, the first step, of course, is creating your Zoho CRM account by just uh, from going from the Zoho CRM sign up page or the get started page. And then you just input your credentials, uh, such as your name email address and password. You can also create an account through Google or LinkedIn accounts if you so choose, but you can create one even without them. Uh, all you have to do is enter your full name, your work email, creating a password, your phone number, uh, your state which you live in, uh, and then just clicking get started. Uh, once your account is created and verified through a confirmation email, you'll be guided to the welcome screen and then you will start a free trial that lasts 15 days for the enterprise plan or you can immediately select a plan. When upgrading to a regular plan, you'll select the number of users, check out and make the payment if necessary for your chosen plan. Now you have a couple of uh, five subscription plans that vary in features. Well, one is of course the free one uh, for up to three users. Standard is $14 per user per month billed uh, annually or $20 per, year per user per month for monthly billing. Uh, or you can use the professional enterprise or ultimate ones. Uh, which just uh, include uh, different functionalities and are more expensive for each step, as you can see. Uh, then uh, you can also set up administrator personal settings if you would like, uh, just from the Zoho CRM setup menu, select general, click personal settings, and choose the right language and time zone for your team, and then just enter your information. You can uh, set up the organizational settings uh, by entering company details under the general column, and from there you can input information about your organization, the fiscal year, business hours, and standard currency. Uh, and then you can customize the CRM system in any way you would like. There are a lot of modules and fields, pipelines, templates, and a home page customization options, which you can go through for modules and fields. Uh, it is a bit complicated and I won't be uh, explaining to you in detail, but uh, the platform's features and associated data are sorted into these modules. And here people can collaborate to keep each other updated and so on and so forth. And yeah, it uh, offers pre-made modules, which you can edit such as leads, accounts, and contacts. Uh, however, you can also click on plus a uh, new module and you can set up the module yourself by entering the data which you want to be within said module and what you want to keep track of. Now, this is very simple uh, to do since the interface is very easy to use, easy to understand. So you should be good to go uh, as soon as you log in. Uh, and then you can select all different things such as uh, re the record details page, uh, the module views, the page layout, the validation rules, buttons and links, and so on and so forth. Uh, you can also customize pipelines uh, under setup customization and pipelines. Uh, you can do templates uh, in setup customizations and templates. And then you can customize your home page from setup customization and customize home page. Now I might have missed it for uh, modules and fields. Uh, you don't need to go into the customization page. Uh, so you'll just figure that out once you log in, it should take you there by itself. Now, other than that, you can integrate uh, either external uh, Zoho applications or third party ones. For example, you can integrate Zoho projects, desk campaigns, survey, mail and finance suite. And then you can also integrate third party application by setup and marketplace page. And here you can uh, select which service you would like. Uh, for the Zoho apps uh, or for third party uh, applications as well, such as CRMs like HubSpot and Salesforce. Now you can also import and add data uh, by importing it in its uh, specific field. You can go to set up data administration and import. And from here you can import uh, a file from your uh, hard drive or you can migrate from a different service. Uh, which is also very easy. I do have other tutorials which cover those, so make sure you check them out. You can also configure automated workflows, which is also a bit too time consuming for me to explain here. You can then invite your users by adding new users by their names, emails, roles, and profiles. And then you can use a lot of different features, which again are very vast, and it will need time to adjust to, but 
uh, it's pretty pretty easy to catch on to, and that is pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll be seeing you guys next time.